Well, hi there, and welcome to our Sunday song time. And this time I have something a little bit different for you. Well, it's a bit of a bluesy sounding song, I have to admit, but um, I, I don't know, I was just playing around with it today, and I thought, hey, wonder if people would like to hear this one. Hmm. Well, too late, because I'm, oh, hold on, come to think of it, you can just you know, turn this off and scroll along, but I hope you'll enjoy it just the same. Hope you'll bear with me at least for the next few minutes. It's a song written by uh, Tom T. Hall, and some of you will know that Tom T. Hall was known in country music circles as the old storyteller, and he wrote some amazing songs that all told great stories. And I've often wondered if there might even be something a little bit autobiographical in this particular story that he told. It's called Me and Jesus. Well, me and Jesus got our own thing going. Me and Jesus got it all worked out. Me and Jesus Got our own thing going And we don't need anybody to tell us what it's all about I know a man He once was a sinner I know a man He once was a drunk I know a man He once was a loser but he went out one morning, made an altar out of a stone. Me and Jesus got our own thing going. Me and Jesus, we got it all worked out. Me and Jesus got our own thing going. And we don't need Anybody to tell us what it's all about Jesus brought me Through all my troubles Jesus brought me Through all my trials Jesus brought me Through all my heartaches And I know Jesus He ain't gonna forsake me now Cause me and Jesus, we got our own thing going. Me and Jesus, we got it all worked out. Me and Jesus, got our own thing going. And we don't need anybody to tell us what it's all about. Now we can't afford. Any fancy singing Well, yeah, here it is <laughs> oh, We can't afford Any fancy church oh, We can't afford Any fancy preaching But you know Jesus got a lot of poor people Out doing his work And me and Jesus Got our own thing going Me and Jesus We got it all worked out Me and Jesus Got our own thing going But we don't need anybody to tell us what it's all about Yeah, we don't need anybody to tell us what it's all about <laughs> Me and Jesus got it all worked out. Well, now there is something not quite true with this song. Well, because here in North America, we're so individualistic, right? My rights, my freedoms, me, me. Just need me and me and Jesus. I don't need anybody else. But we have brothers and sisters in Christ. And we're called to lift one another up, encourage one another, build one another up. Where are you going to find that in the world? If you can't find it in church, you're not going to find it anywhere. 
And sometimes you can't find it in church. Well, that's got to be changed, doesn't that? Because we're in this together. You know, I got, uh, oh, it's a great book. And I was looking through this as I was just kind of trying to figure out what to share with you after a song like that. But it's a little book called First John. It's way back there near the end of your Bible. Not the Gospel of John, but written by the same fella. And uh, boy, you know, it's only five chapters long. You could read this thing in like less than 20 minutes. It's really worth reading. I'll just kind of uh, suggest that to you. But I wanted to share just a couple of verses here from it. He said that you have an anointing from the Holy One. Hmm. Now, uh, we're doing a little study on the Holy Spirit at our church right now and how when Jesus was leaving, you know, he said, I'm not going to leave you as orphans. I'm going to send the Spirit. The Spirit's going to guide you into all the truth. So we have, we, have an anoint, we have a Holy Spirit to help us in learning things. And he says, all of you know the truth. Well, you know, I was thinking, if we only have the Bible, right? If you just have a chapter and verse, if everything is the Word, sometimes you can make this book say some terrible things. Yeah, the example that was in our little study was, uh, well, it came from uh, the American uh, history books back in the 1840s, 1850s, when they, were, when they were discussing slavery. Do you know who promoted slavery in the U.S.? It was people who had Bibles. Oh, no, this is, this is all from God. No, it isn't. I was thinking of here in, here in Canada, our own residential school system, and what a terrible, terrible tragedy that whole thing was. Well, the church helped with that, didn't they? No, we need the Holy Spirit to guide us into the truth of these words. And, well, as John speaks a lot about, we even call him the Apostle of Love. He said, I do not write to you because you do not know the truth, but because you do know it, and because no lie comes from the truth. Who is the liar? It is whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ, the anointed one, the God, the, the God man, the one that God sent to us. He said, Such a person is the Antichrist. Hmm? Well, he does mention about the Antichrist who is coming someday. But even now, says John, many Antichrists have come. There are all kinds of people trying to lead you astray. But he said, see to it that what you've heard from the beginning remains in you. And if it does, you also will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is what he promised us, eternal life. Oh, see what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called the children of God. I, I think about that every time I read that verse. I think, yeah, that even someone like me can be called a child of God because I put my faith and trust in Jesus Christ. So he says, don't let anyone lead you astray. Now, this is the message you heard from the beginning. We should love one another. And this is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. So it's more than just me and Jesus. It's me and Jesus and, well, well, the whole world come to think of it because I think the whole world needs him, to tell you the truth. Now, if anybody has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. And of course, Jesus said he was the way, the truth, and the life. He said, dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. And this is how God showed his love among us. He said, he sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us 
and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. So we need to invite Jesus into our hearts, into our lives, to be our Lord, to to forgive us and to walk with us through the Holy Spirit. And then he reminds us again, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Wow. We love because he first loved us. Well, I won't read the whole book to you, but I suggest you do have a look at it. And in fact, he tells us kind of one of the reasons he wrote this book. It's down near the end of it, uh, 1 John chapter 5, verse 13. He said, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. You can know that right now. You can know that. Wow. Well, there we are. How about that? Anyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone who loves the Father loves his child as well. This is how we know that we love the children of God, by loving God and carrying out his commands. The one who overcomes the world is the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. And it's all through faith. Actually, there's a a hymn I may have to do sometime called uh, Faith is the Victory that Overcomes the World because that's that's what John talks about. The victory that overcomes the world is our faith. Wow. You know what? I may have to read through this book again myself. Here I am recommending it to you. But it's worth reading. It's worth reading. Make sure you have a relationship with Jesus. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to have fancy churches and stuff like that behind it. But when you have that relationship with him, well, you find yourself loving other people, loving the people he loves. Oh, he loves everyone. So he wants us to love. He wants us to spread that love. So I hope you didn't mind uh, a bit of a different way that I tried to do that right here with you. Hey, may you have a blessed day today. Thank you so much for tuning this way. And uh, may God bless you on this Sunday or whatever day you're watching this.